What's up, Herd? A common question we get in the elephant money ecosystem is how to transfer trunk from the BNB chain over to Solana. So I'm gonna give you a quick tutorial on how to do that using Portal Bridge right now. First and foremost, guys, you wanna make sure that you have a uh, Phantom Wallet set up or some sort of Solana uh, specific wallet. I have a Phantom Wallet here and I've got some USDC in here. I've got some Solana. I've got some Savannah House as well. But make sure that you have a little bit of Solana, at least I would say $5 in order to uh, use for gas in order to use the chain, right? And then after that, make sure that you have some trunk tokens inside of your EVM wallet. So I use Rabi most of the time, um, otherwise you can use any other EVM compatible wallet here. But I'm gonna send some trunk now via Portal Bridge. Uh, I have it in my Rabi wallet and I'm gonna send it to my Phantom wallet on Solana. So let's do that today. First of all, I wanna grab the token address for the trunk contract on uh, BNB and you can do that by going to the trunk page on the elephant.money site and then go to BNB chain and then all you need to do is click on this button here and that'll uh, grab the contract address. Go to Portal Bridge. This is portalbridge.com um, advanced tools transfer. Um, that's just a uh, crazy way of saying that this is a little bit more advanced of a bridge in order to uh, put something on here that's permissionless and transferable and it has already been transferred by BT. So this is, uh, we're not trailblazing here, but we're just following in his footsteps, right? So we're gonna be transferring from the BNB chain. So make sure you have BNB here and then Solana over here. Let's find Solana. All right, and then connect your EVM wallet. So I'm gonna connect my Rabi wallet. I've already connected here before, so it's not gonna pop open um, a uh, window here. And then I wanna type in this or paste in the uh, trunk address. And I have a balance of 4,034 tokens. I'm gonna uh, send the max over here and hit next. This is a token that you have to manually pay for on the Solana side, so you do have to redeem tokens, uh, making sure that you have some Solana on in your, uh, in your wallet over there on Phantom, and then um, connect your wallet on the Solana side as well. So I've connected my Phantom wallet here, and I'm gonna send uh, trunk tokens to uh, this address, and you can actually view this on SoulScan to make sure it's the correct one. Um, and this is what it's called Elephant Money Stable on Wormhole. And this is something that BT has set up in the past. So at least we know that this is the correct one. You can even uh, copy this, go over to like Dex Screener and uh, put in the, the uh, number there. And that'll actually show you that these are all the correct ones. And we make sure the price is the same, you know, over on Solana that it is on BNB to make sure that you're getting the right token. It's always good to double check these things as uh, blockchain is immutable and you cannot get your funds back if you mess this up. So uh, do be careful. All right, back to Portal Bridge here, guys. I'm gonna hit next to manually pay for uh, the token transfer. That's going to pop open this box here and I'm gonna hit uh, transfer. Sometimes it'll come up first with a, um, you know, a spending limit that you'll have to approve first, but I'm gonna hit transfer here and then I'm gonna confirm this. Just gonna check this on, uh, make sure that I'm doing this right. 4,034 tokens uh, from uh, the simulation here and then we're going to hit begin sign. It says transaction indexing is in progress. All right, so this is going to take a little bit, but uh, if you read here, this will initiate the transfer on BNB chain and wait for finalization. If you navigate away from this page before completing step four, you will have to perform the recovery workflow to complete the transfer. So we're gonna wait now until uh, this redeem step four is available to us. And I'll be back in just a second to make sure that that happens. All right, I got all the way to the bottom of this transaction and did not get a redeem tokens uh, prompt. So I'm gonna go to the redeem tab here in order to finish this. What you wanna do here is make sure that you have the transaction ID from the chain that you sent it on. So I'm gonna change to the BNB chain. I'm gonna go to my Rabi wallet here and I'm going to copy the transaction hash from the transaction where we did the transfer. So I'm gonna click on this here. The transfer address is right here. I'm gonna copy this, go back to Portal Bridge and paste this in, and then hit Recover. Connect my address from Phantom here, and hit Redeem. 
Make sure to have a little bit of gas on your, your Phantom wallet in order to pay this transaction. Confirm those in your wallet. After several transactions here, I've got my elephant coming to my wallet. So I'm gonna hit confirm on there. And I can actually view this on SoulScan, but I can also just go to my wallet and make sure that the tokens have showed up. And they have. So I've gotten uh, my 4,034 tokens worth 2769 in my Phantom wallet on Solana. All right, so that's the process of getting from BNB to Solana. Let's go back the other direction through SoulBridge. This is the most capital efficient way for you to get your tokens from the BNB chain to Solana. So let's also do the opposite direction, guys. So let's start in Solana and go to the BNB chain. We're gonna start here again in uh, Portal Bridge. We're going to the, go back to the tokens tab. We're going to make sure our Solana wallet is connected. So go to your Phantom, connect your Solana wallet, and then we're gonna choose the BNB chain. And then we're gonna select the token. This time we're going to go to Elephant Money. We're going to go to the trunk page and we're gonna, uh, instead of clicking on the BNB chain, we're gonna stay on the Solana tab and click on the token address on Solana. Go back into Portal Bridge and put that token in here and choose that trunk token. We're going to send the max amount back to uh, the BNB chain. So let's hit next. And then uh, let's select a recipient on the BNB chain, meaning my wallet here. We're gonna connect whatever EVM compatible wallet you have. So we're going from trunk on Solana. Uh, you've got the, the address if you wanna copy that and check it there to the trunk address here and then hit confirm. Confirm this in our wallet. And it looks like we'll actually be able to redeem this inside of the token side without doing the custom redeem. So let's go ahead and, and do that. So in the transaction in our wallet. So let's go and look at our wallet here. And in fact, our trunk tokens did make it back to our EVM wallet. All right, guys, so that's the process of round tripping your trunk tokens from BNB to Solana and back to BNB. Hopefully you don't have to do that too often. Um, I've certainly done that a couple of times depending on my strategy. With that, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for more content just like this. And if you're not already, guys, make sure to jump into our official telegram at elephant underscore money. And that's where you can keep up to date on all things trunk and elephant money. Have a great day and God bless.